All right, Windows 11 on the Microsoft Surface Duo. We just got a really substantial update, at least in my estimations, uh, for this setup. There's been something from the very beginning that's been a little bit bothersome. If you've watched my videos, you've seen that there are some weird graphical glitches, right? When you're moving things around, there's a lot of glitchiness. And apparently that problem, not apparently, uh, literally, it has been fixed. Let me pull up a tweet here real quick that will kind of tell you sort of uh, what was going on there. Let's look at this now. So this was the tweet by Gus himself, the guy that's been working on this. But here's the really beautiful thing about this. Now, Gus does actually have some assistance here. Somebody actually asked what was the problem there we go, what was wrong? And he said, of course, I mean, you know, this is obvious to any of us coding geniuses, but the GPU has a dedicated memory region for tiling textures. It was doubled incorrectly to what it should have been. So more tiling textures made its way into GPU memory. Some corruption happened because some data went to basically nowhere. Of course, I mean, it's just so obvious now in retrospect if that's what was going on. So at any rate, it has been fixed. So in this video, what I'm gonna really quickly do is I'm going to boot into Windows 11 in front of your very eyes and we are going to take a look at what it looks like now without all of those uh, graphical glitches. So at current, we are, of course, uh, just running Android. So what we're going to do here, if I can reach this over, we're going to plug this into my computer and I'm going to run a command to launch into Windows 11 just like that. And we will be booted in momentarily. All right, we are booting in now. We use our power button to select. It says actually Windows 10 there, but that's just sort of the situation. It is in fact Windows 11. So we use our power button to select that. And then in just another moment or two, we should be greeted by our, uh, our lock screen, I guess is what you would call it. Still some weirdness going on here whenever you first start it up, but don't worry, once you're actually in and running, everything is okay. All right, there we go. I should be able to swipe up there, and then I should be able to enter my pin once the keyboard appears. And we are booting in momentarily. I just now had to do a reboot because some stuff was going on with the taskbar. Like I, I didn't have my actual start button there to get into my start menu and none of the icons were showing up. But we'll see after this last reboot if that uh, if the ship has righted itself. Usually it does. All right, there we go. That is what I wanted to see. So everything is functioning, functioning correctly. And if we hit our start button there, you will see how good that looks. And uh, same thing over here. And this is functioning as a dual monitor setup. So let's do something here. Like let's open up the Microsoft Store. And you can see there that it is now opening up and there's no graphical glitches to speak of. Let's launch Edge. And of course, Edge is going to launch on top of uh, what we had there. And of course, you can grab Edge and you can... If you're very careful, I keep wanting to snap layout, you can bring it over here and now you have something on both screens. And yes, guys, the graphical glitches are absolutely gone. Let's browse to YouTube on the browser there on the left. And let's actually search for the YouTube channel here. Keyboard pops up on its own, which is fantastic to see. And you can see that is playing fine. And so, you know, playing video is something that your GPU is involved with and it's handling it all just fine. I don't believe audio is functioning uh, at this point, but, you know, as far as just a demonstration here of how, you know, nice this actually <laughs> looks now, this is really, really good. Let's skip that ad there and get playing. You can see there, you're, uh, you're totally fine. Wi-Fi is still working. Don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of things that aren't working correctly, but man, without the graphical glitches, I feel like you can like really start to appreciate how interesting and nice this potentially could be once we get going. There's a lot of problems still there, you know, right? Like whenever I'd like it to be, if I launch Edge over here, that it would launch on this screen. That's something that Windows just doesn't really know what to do with. There are still some issues. But by and large, this is a really, really big improvement. Let's talk for a moment, though, about what is uh, working, what we have here. So the side buttons are working, power and the volume buttons are functional, although the volume may not, uh, I don't think sound is actually working. I guess we'll see here that it's not on the list. So there you go. Uh, USB works for me. Maybe it's better now, but for me, sometimes I'm plugging like a USB hub and it wouldn't work and I'd have to reboot. Sometimes it was hit or miss. Closing and opening the, the device correctly puts the device to sleep. That's pretty cool. CPU frequencies are working. Bluetooth, so no uh, speaker performance here. No, no sound playing there, but you can 
pair a Bluetooth device and that should work. GPU is working great now. I'm going to test some games here, not right now because I've got stuff I got to do, but very shortly I'll try and run some games and see what I can do. Maybe install Steam and see if some games will actually run now. Both displays, touch is working very well. It seems more accurate than it was in prior builds. Pin is working on the left screen. Vibration motors, both batteries, but no charging. That's a big one, right? So this thing is kind of low on battery. And in order to charge it, I'm going to have to boot back into Windows, plug it in and charge it that way. Bunch of sensors, cell data, Wi-Fi, GPS, and SMS are all working. Nothing else works. So if you have a question, does this, that, or the other thing work? Well, if I didn't just mention it, no, it does not work. But at any rate, this is a big step forward. And I have heard rumors that apparently some games are now functioning haven't confirmed that yet but i will do some testing uh, probably tonight maybe get posted sunday or monday when i have the time to be able to do that so link will be in the description to the full guide of how to do this i also made my own video to kind of help walk through it a bit easier as well i'll try to remember to link to that also thanks for watching if you're new here hit that subscribe button before you leave and until next time stay nerdy my friends